Ever have those awfully ugly little dinosaur toys made in China? The ones molded in one retina devastating colored hard plastic and then spray painted another awful color? Anyone remember the four-legged one covered in cones? It had sharp teeth, googly eyes, and I think a pained expression reminiscent of the existential dread of peering into the abyss only for it to peer back into you? Okay, maybe not that last part. A brand new fossil discovery has found an Adam's rib of one of the most bizarre dinosaurs to ever live, with an astonishingly prickly appearance. Meet Spicomelus Affer. Morocco is the land that keeps on giving. Whether you're into mosasaurs, spinosaurs, love collecting trilobites, ammonites, or shark teeth, Morocco has everything you could ever want. Now it offers up something entirely unprecedented even among the already unprecedented. The vast number of fossils ranging from the Cambrian to the Eocene have created a booming commercial fossil market. At this point, you know how I personally and professionally feel about them, but they have their place, and a brand new discovery was made through the contacts buried in the fossil dealer market. A bizarre rib fossil was bought through a commercial fossil dealer by scientists from the Natural History Museum London. By itself, the fossil is really, really freaking wack. It's just a rib, but it's T-shaped and has a series of spines jutting out of it. Before the team of scientists could fully collect their thoughts and analyze the characteristics of the bone to figure out what it belonged to, they needed to know where it came from. Where it came from would tell the team when it was from and what kind of environment it fossilized in. The fossil dealers happened to know the dig site where this fossil was taken. Members of the research team went out to that dig site in 2019 and 2020 to get some more data on the rock layers. This happened to be the same dig site that the remains of the oldest known stegosaur, Adracticlet, were taken a few years ago. The dig site dates to the Middle Jurassic period and would have represented a terrestrial locality with streams and rivers. The weirdness of the fossil made everyone who first saw it think it was fake. Once it was taken back to the labs in London and analyzed a bit better, it was then tentatively identified as the jaw of a big fish. Plenty of fish have weirdly shaped jaws and teeth shaped extremely similarly to the cone pikes jutting out of this fossil. Once the team threw the darn thing in a CT scanner and sliced the fossil into microscope slides, a more curious identity was found. You see, it couldn't belong to a fish because the spikes aren't teeth. Fish teeth are weird, but even their teeth have the cavities inside them that can tell you it is, in fact, a wacky fish twofer. CT scans showed the team the cones were fully bone and didn't have any pulp inside. Plus, the terrestrial freshwater habitat where the fossil was found ruled out a fish as the bone would have belonged to a fish too big to fit in the streams of the time and place. The rest of the bone was found to be a rib. When the rib was sectioned into paper-thin slides for the microscope, it was found that the tissue had a cross-hatched pattern to it. Those scans found the spines to derive from osteoderms, which are lumps of bone that rest beneath the skin in many groups of animals. The internal texture and pattern of the bone narrowed down the identity to either a turtle, atosaur, phytosaur, a titanosaurian sauropod, or an ankylosaur. Atosaurs and phytosaurs are bizarre offshoots of the archosaur family tree, which thrived during the Triassic period but died out before the Middle Jurassic so they can be excluded. Sure, the bone could belong to a ghost lineage of these critters that survived without fossilization for 20 million years or so, but that's quite unlikely given the other clues. It cannot be a titanosaur since they didn't appear until the Cretaceous period. And it's unlikely to belong to a turtle since no turtle has ever been found with spines on its ribs. Plus, the rib is the wrong shape for the type of ribs any known turtle has ever had. So, it's an ankylosaur. How sure is the team? Not that sure. It's more likely to belong to an ancient member of the ankylosaur tree than anything else. But exactly where that places the specimen in that tree requires more info. The team named the strange spiny thing Spicomelus afer, from spicus meaning spike, melus meaning collar, and afer for Africa. So, it's the spiked collar from Africa. 
Those CT scans found that the fossil is composed of two major parts, a top slab of bone that the spines emerge from, and the bottom slab, which is the rib. The rib, as I've said before, is T-shaped in cross-section, so the whole damn thing isn't just unique to ankylosaurs, dinosaurs, or archosaurs, but is unique to all known tetrapod animals to ever live. This has never, ever been seen before. It's from the same time as the earliest known stegosaurs, which might suggest a weird offshoot of highly spiny ankylosaurs that lived alongside the stegosaurs for millions more years than anyone had thought. Historically, it was thought ankylosaurs outcompeted and replaced their stegosaur cousins as the Jurassic transitioned into the Cretaceous, but over the years, late Jurassic ankylosaurs have been growing in number and bits of evidence of Cretaceous stegosaurs have been growing as well. The situation, as it always is, is far more complex than previously thought. So, what kind of animal would it have looked like? Eh, not really for me or anyone to say at this point, but some paleoartists have come up with some ideas. Since it lived before ankylosaurs like Mimura pelta and Gargoylosaurus of the late Jurassic, and after the early protostego ankylosaurs like Isoberisaurus, Scutellosaurus, and Scolitosaurus, it may have blended some features from all these proto-angry pineapples. Its armor is anyone's guess, but if it covered most of the ribs, it may have been somewhat like the kaiju Angiris' carapace. Joshua Knup has Spicomelus here with a triangular head tipped by a pointy stegosaur snout and capped by ankylosaur horns. It's also got those spines in rows along the neck, across the back, ending at the pelvis where the tail changes into a covering of ankylosaur-like knobs and spines. I literally cannot wait for more of this thing to be found. I bet it was even weirder than what people have come up with. Before I shake a leg, I really want to point out that Dr. Susanna Maidment, the lead author of the paper on Spicomelus, has stated that the museum hopes to return the fossil to Morocco. They plan to send it to the University of Fez to help establish a vertebrate paleontology lab there so that further finds can be studied in Morocco, where fossils from Morocco belong. I wish more institutions were like this, but alas, it's not the world we live in. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my elephant tier patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, Dinosaur, and Arda Bayer, as well as my Tyrannosaurus tier patrons, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, Dana Manchester, Chris Frampton, and Admin. Thank you.